Hi guys and welcome back to my latest Tropico 4 Sandbox Mode episode. We'll try to keep this mission or episode short and sweet about 20 minutes or so uh, because it is Mother's Day and I have dinner in about 20 or so minutes as well so I do want to go and render that while I'm eating dinner etc. We need to pay a ransom to some hostages and if any of you guys have noticed right now uh, while Penultimo was talking and I'm talking over him I do have a new pair of headphones. Uh, the PX21s, if any of you guys have stayed around that? for a while, you would have known that I would have had PX21s like uh, late last year and in the beginning of this year as well. Unfortunately, I broke them. Um, they aren't really the best quality. They're a bit flimsy, um, especially the cabling. But uh, I've finally cleared out my desk, etc. And I'm excited to get my Xbox 360. That's mainly the main reason I got them. So I'll be looking after them a lot more now and I'll just be using them for commentaries not to actually just listen and stuff like that. I'll just be using them to commentate on. So hopefully I found the correct audio settings for this episode. Um, hopefully it won't be too loud, my voice won't be too loud or the game too loud. So you, there'll be a fine medium and yeah I'm just really worried because uh, this is one of the first times I'm using Fraps to actually record my voice in a while because for the last two or three months now with my let's plays I've been using audacity to record my voice and then I use fraps to record the game and then I just sync them up in Sony Vegas so they sometimes is a bit of a delay if I don't sync it up correctly but for the most time it should be okay anyway let's actually start playing the game one of you guys actually mentioned that the tourist dock is not connected to a road and you could not be more right but you'll see how close it actually is as you guys can see, I thought it was connected, but it's not because of that red arrow. So we've got to connect it somehow like so. Look at that. Now it's a green arrow and it is completely connected. So that's a bit of a relief. Also, a couple of you guys mentioned that I need to um, change this to organic agriculture instead of um, reforestation because we don't want that. So thank you for noticing. Actually, you guys are very good at noticing these things. So thank you very much. Love the detail that there is. We've got 369 people now. That is a ridiculous amount. And we don't really have that many shacks. We still got really? We got so many immigrants coming in here still. Where's our immigrant office? There we go. And it's set on skilled workers. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. But no one's coming into our college. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Look at those rebellious cows crossing the road. Let's keep on paying some ransoms. What else did I want to do? I think that's about it. Oh, yes. I think we ran out of um, electricity. So we've got to do that. Uh, over, right over here. It shouldn't be that long until we unlock these solar power plants. Still a while, it seems like. But we can. Oh, no. It's 1975. Sorry. And the borehole mine. Unfortunately, we're not going to use them. So speaking of borehole mines, it's the environmentalists hate us. High pollution, not enough garbage disposal facilities. Even, even because we're not mining the environmentalists still find a way to hate us. Let's build a mausoleum as well because we have heaps and heaps of money. And see, you can never make, um, have everyone at 100% because the intellectuals want proper elections, but the loyalists don't want proper elections. So you can never get 100% with everyone, but we're very close to it right now. So we're, we're just cruising along. Let's just check foreign relations. EU probably hate me, yes, because I blame them. So let's just um, build some sanitation plants because we will have more electricity now. So let's get build a water treatment plant. And I think we have we need to build it over here, which would be the smart thing to do. Um, I was checking up here a bit before I think and I couldn't find a place to build it. Alright, oh, it needs to be connected to the electrical grid. Alright, oh, I think I remember what I was talking about. I was saying that I'll build a sanitation plant in 1975 once we get the um, better solar power plants. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying my voice. And I should have mentioned that also while well, onto this topic. Uh, the main reason I got the headphones was for my um, Xbox commentaries because you can't really commentate with a crappy PC headphone. You need the special like white and red AV cables or whatever they're called um, to plug into your HD PVR to record your voice. So I needed a proper headset, like a professional one, the PX21s will do. They're pretty cheap out of like all the really good ones, so. But then again, you pay with the, for that with the flimsiness. Also, I was looking at Reddit, and 
that someone posted this up on Reddit. Uh, it was actually a pretty um, popular post. If you look at this, promote Tropican art, showcase such Tropican masterpieces as the girl and the llama. Not to be confused with the decadent piece, two girls, one llama, and the man who eats papaya. It's another, um, you, got, you guys probably could imagine the uh, female genitalia, what they mean by papaya. The building generates profits depending on the Tropican art sold. Two girls and one llama. <laughs> Oh man, don't you just love the, the uh, creators of the game? Although I do have to say, oh, we got 42 tourists. Nice. We're getting lots and lots of tourists as well. So we're not dependent. We basically have everything that's renewable. We got like renewable food sources. Unless we have a drought or anything, but everything's going good. We got tobacco growing. That seems to be going good. Everything seems to be fairly filled up. Not exactly filled up, but soon we'll have the electricity as well. And yes, as I keep on getting distracted, as I just keep on looking everywhere around, everything seems to be have been built here, which is great to see. Um, I probably won't be doing a Let's Play of Max Payne. I'm not exactly sure, but because Rockstar, I'm sure most of you guys know, like there's not that many Let's Plays and walkthroughs of Grand Theft Auto 4, especially around release date. Now there's a few, but uh, once Rockstar games release, like Red Dead Redemption, you. Can, you cannot find a walkthrough of that on YouTube, at least not for about a year since it's been released. Maybe there's a few now that Rockstar don't check, but they copyright strike everything. You're not allowed to do or monetize walkthroughs with um, Rockstar, which really sucks. Uh, but we'll see what happens with Max Payne 3. Like the embargo date is on Tuesday, 12 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time in America. Which sucks because if in Australia you get the game early, you can't actually upload it until... Um, like, if the game legitimately releases in Australia, you still can't... Look at that roller coaster. You still can't uh, upload it to YouTube until the embargo date in America, um, or the worldwide one, is released, which is basically when the game releases in America. So, I have to wait a bit until that, but I probably won't be doing it now because Rockstar Games, it's just not worth it even if you get a copyright strike and I just don't want the hassle as you guys can probably imagine. Now many people think that this is extremely easy like playing computer games and making money out of this etc but it's not, it's like it's very good, it's, it's very enjoyable etc but it can be pretty stressful as well especially you don't have much security when it comes to um, if you want to do this as your full time job if like you want to release games, um, release videos of games really early. But anyway, I'm just moving around and doing absolutely nothing. So, that was one thing that I wanted to mention. If we go to options and go to the hotkeys, um, I think they took it out in this, like, the latest update with the modern times. But you used to be able to actually hotkey some buildings which weren't available through the build menu when you, like, right click. So, um, actually I think it's the bunkhouse. That's what I think it was. Let's set the bunkhouse to say, um, O. I don't think anything else was an O, so. Yep, everything else, okay. So there's a couple of buildings here that you can only get through the hotkeys, and the cheeky little buggers, I think there was like a concrete building, and you can only access that through the um, hotkey menu at the re like when Tropico 4 released but then they released a DLC for about two dollars which included a mission that gave you the building but you can also always get it for free which is really annoying oh no that's a country house I don't want a country house it said bunk house what are you talking about game where are we set to oh uh, all bunk house bunk house okay set to H then Let's press OK. I don't think I pressed OK. Ah, there we go. Now, let's just check if it's there. Um, no. Housing? Bunkhouse? Ah, oh, no, it's there. That's a bit embarrassing thing. But there is a couple of buildings that uh, were there. I was reading in a couple of forums that that's what Calypso did, which is quite infuriating. But um, I think they changed that with the latest update. I think they actually took them out and you have to buy the DLC. That only costs about $2. They're really small. They only give like two missions or something. So that's why I'm not like recording them or anything like that. Anyway, this actually series is very popular, I must say. Like the first episode on my Tropico 4 sandbox mode got about 2,000 views, which is crazy. 
Anyway, let's actually invest in some more tourism because we can. Let's build a marina actually. If we can, squeeze it in over here, which we won't be able to, which is a great shame. Hmm. All right. So, all right, we'll have to build it here. Actually, what does a marina do? That would be a good idea to check out. Wealthy tourists. Hmm. Actually, let's build the luxury liner just over here. How many luxury liners can we build? Let's check that first. Oh, this is built automatically. Nice. And there's going to be ships that come to and fro um, continuously, which is nice. Several soldiers may leave the island each year, which is no good. Let's check on our army stats. We've got a fair few. We could probably get some more. It's got a government guard station. And that's not next to the tourist, but build another one over here because I think we already have one over here, but we can never have too many. It's almost 1975, which is great. Love the camera angle switcheroo. It's so smooth as well, I have to say. Especially with fraps on, which is quite rare for games to be extremely smooth with fraps. Look at the cars, look at all the congestion. Crazy stuff. Alright. Um, what I do wonder about is if the water treatment plant, because that doesn't have any upgrades, if it's actually more efficient than the garbage dump. It's interesting. It probably is. It has four people, but you can upgrade this as well. Interesting. Anyway, how, how's this going? Um, because didn't we build... No, I guess we didn't build a water treatment plant. But we did build a water treatment plant over here because it is covered by electricity. Only just. This poor bugger misses out. Anyway, we're making ridiculous amounts of money and we have a lot of people. So I just want to go back to food and resources now and build another fish farm for our people. Let's just see where we can squeeze it in. Actually, here's a good place because I don't want to build it near the entertainment strip, which is what I'm going to head off to right now. So let's go fish farm, get another one over on this side. Okay, I'm placing it on the ocean shore. Ocean shore. Come on. There we go. Do they need to be connected? They don't need to be connected to roads, it doesn't seem like. Okay. So let's go back into the entertainment strip. Um, let's just go over here. Oh, I heard some cows. Entertainment. And let's actually build a childhood museum. I think we already have one, but. You can never have too many childhood museums, really, past memories. Get a bit of nostalgia. Um, get a theater in here as well. Actually, we probably could set like all these buildings to different yeah, burlesque comedy. Let's actually build a couple of theaters then. That's the way we want to roll. Make them face each other. Try to make it as symmetrical as possible. It's actually almost exactly mirror image. Almost. Uh, let's just go back to entertainment. Get a couple of nightclubs going. Some doof doof. Can we, yes, we can have upscale dress class and no dress code. So we'll be changing that. Let's just build a couple more over here, facing each other. There we go. Oh, I think we left unnecessary space in here. So let's actually cancel that before anyone builds that. So okay. Go back to the entertainment. Nightclub it is. And... Oh, that'll do. Go. Oh, no, not education media. Although we could do with some newspapers, etc. But I'm right now I'm just going to focus on the entertainment strip. So, more entertainment. And let's actually get a zoo in here. Actually, no, this is not a good idea for this entertainment strip. A zoo should go over um, where the tourists are. And I think we already do have a zoo over there, don't we? No? Well, we will we'll now. If I can squeeze it in. There we go. Look at that. It's gonna be perfect. I wonder what this space is for. Interesting, we have a crap load of money. Oh, and the game saving. Very nice timing. It's probably we've been playing about for about 10 minutes, so. We'll keep on playing. One citizen decided to leave Tropico. That's alright with me. We're still getting students, we still are, which is nice. Oh, look at all those people in the hospital. We have no one in the colleges. Let's just get rid of that guy then. Maybe we should go with, we probably should go with some more houses. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we should over here though. How many guys are you attracting now? That's a lot, 54 people on the island. 
Can we build that airport yet? Or do we need to ally ourselves with the Americans? Oh no, we need to administer the economy. Okay. So, our ministry... Oh, no one's working there? No, there are. I don't know, for whatever reason it didn't work. Anyway, actually what I need to do first is build some more... Probably Teamsters offices. Probably. We got three... Four, five... We got five. You can never have too many though, so let's try to put one in right over here. Oh, unfortunately we can't. What about if I... Oh, there we go. That'll do. And I think that we're still connected to the road, which is nice. So, we haven't built this yet. Let's put that to high construction priority, so we get that done quick smart. And, well, we should have people working very soon. And I need the um, the ministry. So let's go ministry. The ministry is uh, basically where everyone um, listens to El Presidente's orders and they enact his orders. So it's a very important building. So we must place it somewhere where it's going to be very prominent. I'm not exactly sure where. I'm tempted over here just to look over, look over everything. Let's put it behind the palace somewhere. Over here. Not too prominent, but it'll have to do. Oh, we get a llama flu epidemic. Presidente, it's not lupus. No immigrants. Okay, that doesn't really bother me. And we need a minister for... Oh, what do we need it for? No, infrastructure and tourism. Economy, okay. Let's quick build that. And economy, economy. Oh, nice. We can just hire some random. And now we can get an airport, which we'll build along this way. So let's go tourism. Airport. Ooh, let's see where should we put it? Now we don't want it there. Hmm. Ah, that'll do. And we'll just quick build that. Just oh. there we go. All built, nice. So we can set it to coach service, which is standard service accessible to as many passengers as possible, or first class. What does this do? Attracts 40% more wealthy tourists via planes. Okay, just check. Oh, I added that thing. What was that actually? Enhanced terminal. We need more power. And let's just set this because that gets more wealthy guys. Let's go first class service. And this is the skyscraper hotel. So let's get some more houses for our people. Oh, we can only build one. Let's build some luxury hotels then. Build one. And go tourism. Luxury. That sucks you can only build one skyscraper hotel. It's very disappointing, I must say. Oh, yes, and we can build that power finally. So let's go build it right in the middle of our town. Now let's go to infrastructure, solar power plants. Let's see where we can build it. Man. Why not? Over there. It needs to be flat and dreary. There you go. That'll do. And then we'll just do the maximum amount of upgrades right away. How's that for you? Okay. That's more than enough power. Let's just see how far. Actually, I should have checked. Actually, it does add a lot more solar things. Okay. Anyway. Enough of me being confused. Look at that. It basically covers our whole island. Does it cover this? It still doesn't cover that. I'm not going to ban, ban elections. And we should issue the tax cut for the militaries to like us. Just that little bit more. Oh, the loyalists don't like me. We need a Mussolini. So, let's go do that. Mussolini is in landmarks and beauty. Hmm. Over here looks nice. Even though we'll be overwrite or build it right in the middle of our crops. And face it that way. Gonna have it facing the right way. And then we should build infrastructure and build an electrical substation. Over here, yeah. That'll do. Quick build that so then we'll be able to make the big tropican money over here by upgrading all of this so we can get our quality control etc get this to do this is what this does mulching machinery the production is increased by 20 percent oh they get a big mulcher i guess that's what we call it now we're making it a heck of a lot more money nice Everyone's filled up here over, here, over there as well. Uh, we do need a treatment plant over here, so let's 
try to squeeze it in wherever we can. It's not connected to electrical grid. Ele electrical grid. Alright, we've got a still big still got a bit of work to do over here, so. Electrical substation. Hopefully we maybe fit it in there. Yep, that should do. Water treatment plants. Or oh, squeeze one. Infrastructure water treatment plants. Two. Okay, that should do. Let's just see if well it won't get rid of the air pollution right away, will it? Unfortunately. Or or the pollution in general, because I know it's not air pollution. But um yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I'm definitely enjoying this game. I'll try to get um, onto what I meant by the hotkeys because I'm not sure if they actually changed that with the patches, with the um, downloadable content of modern times or what. But I definitely knew that there was something um, iffy going on with like a couple of the buildings that you could only get with the hotkeys menu. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you come back for episode five, I think will be the next one. So see you guys.